Blessings and peace, my brothers and sisters, as we continue to meditate and to pray and to fast, watching what's happening and going through, trusting the Lord to take us through this difficult time. As you are aware, I'm teaching that series, Amen, and the laws of the Spirit, Amen, and I'm doing it from my, my own book here, Amen, chapter 6, Laws of the Spirit, and there are eight laws of the Spirit, Amen. We are now going to do four, five, and six. Then we have seven and eight, and we are finished with those laws of the Spirit. Amen. Today we are going to be doing two other laws. Amen. Hallelujah. Call it ebbing of the Spirit and the blockage of the Spirit. We're going to do ebbing of the Spirit first. Amen. Ebbing, E B B I N G, of the Spirit. Amen. And then blockage. The two of them relate. But one precedes the other. Ebbing precedes blocking. Some of us are ebbing, while some of us are blocked. Let's go to ebbing first. What I want to picture now is you have a, a, a pipe or a tap in your bathroom, your kitchen, and you turn on the tap, and the water is flowing out in full force. Full force. Powerful. And after a while, you just start to take your time and turn it down. That's called ebbing. So when the force of the water begins to go down, less and less, you call it ebbing. And when you turn it fully off, that's where it is blocked. So no more water passing through. You lock off. So ebbing precedes lock off. So the spirit is like water, oil pour out. So when your spirit stops flowing with the Holy Spirit, it ebbs. It ebbs. So let us deal with that now. So it is a gradual decline in strength and power. Your spirit gradually, it now happen one time. Remember we said the pipe a turn, 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 until it locks off. Life and strength and power are still present, but not flowing. Look at what? Water is in the tank, water is in the line, but <laughs> turn down a lack of. It takes time to happen. Why? What caused it? It is caused by lack of maintenance and prayer. My God. Let me just run down this and let me just nail it a little harder for you. When your spirit is ebbing, you may lose your joy, your peace, and your power. Worship not so sweet again. Bible study not so sweet again. Do not enjoy prayer and the word of God as before. When this happens, it's because we sin. And when you know you sin, Repent and reclaim your flow. Repent and reclaim your flow. We have drawn back. Let God reveal it in prayer. So let me just nail it a little more for us now. A lot of us, before we get filled with the Holy Spirit, before we get the anointing, you know what we normally do? Fast and pray. Regular. When church prayer meeting done, you go home and still pray. You pray morning, you pray evening, and you fast on your own, and you come at church fasting, and you don't miss service. Why? You want the anointing. Now that you have received the anointing, you stop fast, you stop pray, you stop study the word, you stop come at church, and guess what? You ebb. The same things you do to get where you are, you're supposed to still do them to maintain we are. So, you fast and pray to be anointed. You have to fast and pray to keep the anointed. I'm not saying you're going to fast to the same extent, but you have to keep the fast and the prayer going to maintain the anointed. Yeah. No matter how big a fire is, wood fire, if you don't keep putting fresh wood in, no matter how long it blazes for, 
as long as you stop putting fresh wood in, it will go out. That's what we talk about. Maintenance. Fan into flame, the gift of God. Now the blockage of the spirit now is when the pipe turn off fully. So if you neglect maintenance long enough, the devil shut you off. When your spirit is black, brothers, brothers and sisters, the Holy Spirit, the human spirit, cannot connect to the soul to flow. So you cannot help somebody as you ought to because the Holy Spirit has no hand, no avenue, no access to flow through you. You become you, you, you become a, a tank full of water because the Holy Ghost is still in you. But there is no outlet. My God. It bung. The enemy bung you up. My God. The Bible says that what we must what? Come unto him that he labor and every day and I will give you rest. So one of the things that causes a blockage of the spirit is that low maintenance that the soul and body is the outlet for the spirit and the Holy Spirit. The soul needs the soul to work. So when your spirit is black, your mind becomes confused. You will become weary, impotent, and you can't choose. You come at church after the boy can't bother. What do you want to eat? We don't know anything. What you want to do? Why me can't bother again? Anything, anything. Why? When your spirit block, you lose your taste, you lose your drive, you lose your energy, you lose your life. You lose the, 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 the vivancy. You lose your zeal. My God. Emotionally, everything disturbs you. When your spirit block, everything people say, you just nyam off their head, you just bash them. Your spirit block. And all of a sudden, you say, well, I don't normally behave like this. What oh, happened? Yeah. Enemy coming in. Let me go a little further. When your spirit is black, you refuse to do things public. So you come at church and say, I hope nobody will call me for doing nothing today. Now. But I just want to come and just sit down and look around and go to my yard. Your spirit black, brother. You used to look forward for somebody to call you and to ask you to do something in the house of God. But all of a sudden, you just want to come and you don't want nobody to see you, you don't want nobody to hear you. You just want to come and look and go back home. Your spirit is blocked. Your spirit is blocked, brother. Your spirit is blocked, my sister. Get it cleared. You bung up. My God. You just want to be alone. Yeah, I just want to be alone. There's time to be alone. And they stand to come church and just want to observe and worship. I know that. But when your spirit is black, it becomes a consistent thing. It becomes a daily thing. And what is now? You feel to give up trying. You can't bother. You become weak and lazy. And guess what now? When you start to be alone, one of the things that the enemy does is this. He isolation normally follows with the assassination. When the enemy ready to destroy you, he has a way to isolate you, then kill you. Somebody say it this way. The banana that leaves the bunch get eaten, are peeled, and the bubble gum that leaves the pack get chewed. Brothers and sisters, examine yourself Stop, make people, stop examining everybody else except yourself. The Bible says examine yourself. That when you come to the house of God, you can be in the right place, ready to serve, ready to work. May the God of heaven grant us grace and that the grace of our Lord God will give us this. So if you have been blocked, repent. Confess to God. And one of the things you have to do to get rid of blockage, you have to worship God loud, vocally, because you're renouncing what is happening until there's a for the Bible out of your belly shall flow what? Rivers of living water. So there has to be a flow from the Spirit in you, through you. God bless you. Remember to send me your feedback. Drop me an inbox. For I want to hear from you as usual. 
because if these are not benefiting you, it doesn't make any sense. God bless you. God keep you. Pastor Ivy is saying, see you next time. Shout with a prayer. Loving Father, may our spirit be free, flowing, and powerful. May nothing ebbs us or blocks us that we can worship and praise you in spirit and in truth. Have your way, we pray now in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Tune in out until tomorrow. God's willing. Amen.